My name is Zach Longo. Again, back for a second time. Today, we're making steak pizzola. Golden air or what? Gotta sell that merch. Subosunday.com. Show them the back. Oh, you got to. Anti-diet diet club, folks. I'm uh, definitely a member of that club. It's a very, very simple dish. Steak, tomato sauce with oregano, little side of some uh, lupini beans. So if you want to get started on this, well, I'm going to show you the ropes yeah, here. Exactly. This is a hot pan, cast iron, always better than when you're cooking a steak. I mean, you can use uh, maybe a vegetable oil has a higher flash point, but since, um, you know, we got the olive oil, we'll throw that in now. Season it generously, okay, with salt. You're cooking steak, take the steak out of the fridge, let it get to room yeah. temperature. This is room temperature steak. You okay. don't want to cook a cold steak. It's gonna feel tense and the inside's gonna be fucking cold and the outside's gonna be burnt. Yeah, so you wanna generously salt and pepper the steak on both sides. And then you lay that on that cast iron and you got and you hear that going to town. Okay? Ooh, that's, what all about. that's what it's all about. Now this is a ribeye steak, you can use any kind of steak. You use sirloin. I'm a ribeye guy. Usually I leave the bone in, sometimes you gotta pull out. You always have to know when to pull out though. That's the that's it's the key. The timing. It's all about the timing. If you do it, you're overdone and you got payments the rest of your life. And while so we're waiting for that to cook, you can go over to sugosunday.com and check out some of the new merch we got. The Hunger Great Pains, stuff. Hermes, Don't Sue Me, Anti-Diet Diet Club, also Great stuff. another company. Don't I saw me. somebody walking around with a Gnocchi t-shirt on uh, yesterday. <laughs> well, I don't know, if it may have been a, a ripoff. I'm not they sure. You can steal the recipe, but the sauce won't taste the same. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's the steak, we're gonna flip it over. It only needs a couple of minutes on each side. You want this steak to be medium you know medium rare another minute here we're gonna put this sauce <clears throat> this sauce is a tomato sauce with oregano a little salt and pepper some olive oil and it's really fantastic when you put this on here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna generously pour this on top and give it a shake there. Pretty good now what we're gonna do is just put this on top and let that kind of steep just to let the flavor of the sauce get into the steak. Now what I, I like to do on this is I just use a little extra olive oil. I'm sure they can see. Look okay. at that. I think we're onto something here. I'm just gonna start having guests on the show that are better cooks than myself so I don't have to cook at all. And I could just say my stupid lines and get to eat. Kind of like you did when you grew up in the house. <laughs> Believe it or not, this dish is done now. So look at this. Garnish it with a little of this. Bam. A little parsley on top. And bang. Steak pizzola. Translation, steak with pizza sauce. Okay? It's so a beautiful dish. All you assholes out there with your fake gluten intolerance and your keto vegan diets, this is your dish. This is it right here. Especially the vegans. Listen, I don't mind being a vegetarian as long as I have a little piece of steak on my yeah, side. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, so these are called lupini beans. You can use any beans. String beans are, are gonna work as well. You have to cook them though in the same sauce. Okay, all right, now yeah, we gotta cut it. What we have here is a Japanese Miyabi steel knife. This thing is almost as sharp as me. It only it pays attention. <laughs> okay, so easy it cuts through it. Wow, look at that. Non jamale. Perfectly cooked too. You've done this before. This is, this is beautiful. I love this knife. I gotta get one of these. Could use one to collect rent. Do you want it on here? This one like over here like that? This is your plate. It's my plate. Show the people. Here it is. Give it a shot. Let the games begin. How is it? The flavor is really good. Mm. Wow. This is a good alternative to a pizza. You don't want to be a fat pizza chip. Like me. That nice homemade sauce you spent eight hours making really paid off. Well done. Steak pizzaiola. I just want to thank my dad for supporting me emotionally and financially and coming on the show again. And uh, I think it was a great experience. Yeah. I, um, I was very, very happy with uh, everything the way it turned out and I'd be happy to come back here anytime. Yeah, we still got to do the barbecue episode. Come in. I'll, I'll be, be ready. ready. Hot. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure. Thank you, Zach. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you well like done. and subscribe. Leave a comment if you got any ideas for what dish you want to see us make next time. And uh, yeah, don't forget thumbs up and get the fuck out of here. All right, ciao.